All right, well, as you can see, we put the grill and the new headlights in and a new emblem, a couple, you know, the marker lights on there. We put a whole new front end as far as grill work and headlights. Um, but when we were doing that, we found out that the core support, the truck had been wrecked. The core support's all smashed up and we couldn't get this headlight to adjust right to fit in the square of the grill. And that one over there kind of looks good, but it's still messed up too. And then the AC condenser, I guess it's got a hole in it. That's probably why it doesn't work because it was all smashed up too. So what we got to do, rip off the whole front end. But before we rip off the front end, to give us a reference of lining everything back up, we want to put new door pins in. So we're going to put the new door pins in. So when we go to hang the fenders and the front end back on in front of the doors, we'll have a good steady line and the, to reference the fenders off. Because we're going to, as we put them back on, we're going to try to get our door gaps and quarter panel gap fixed up. As you can see right here, the gap is way too wide. The door can be pushed in. It's drooped here and it's drooped here. So what we want to do is get the pins in, get this lip right here. You got a gap here and no gap here. Get the door picked up and twisted back to where it needs to be. So when we come back and put the fender on, we have a good solid reference. Uh, the driver's side door droops more than this one. so. It's a pretty common problem with these old Chevys. Well, actually even up into the 90 S10s. So basically what you get, you get pin and four bushings, or two pins and four bushings per door. You uh, just knock them out and put them back in. The hardest part is trying to not knock the door spring out, or if you do get the door spring out, putting it back in. The little spring inside here. Right? You have to go around and get it over there. If you look right in here, the door spring that keeps the door from closing on you. So, that's our plan for tonight. Which we were hoping our plan to, for the front end was already done, but we went and got a new core support that's in the back. Well, a junk core support that's not wrecked. And to put it on, we're going to go from windshield forward off. The hood, the fenders and the core support's all coming off tonight. We got the bottom pin. Once we get the pins knocked out, and uh, this was the other tool I had, you hook it into the pin and hit it down here, and it pulls the pin out. Kind of jars on your hand, so I'd, I'd recommend wearing a glove or something. But uh, yeah, it just kept putting it, popped that pin right out. Now I gotta go for the top one, which is gonna be the rough one. Because I'm trying to do it and leave the spring in. I don't know if it'll pound past that spring without coming out. But let's see. Use this tool again. Find it on there. Hooks on there. Pushing past the spring, I probably won't be able to get it back in. <laughs> well, it's not what I wanted to do. I guess we'll just have to deal with it. But, wiggle the door. It is. It's off. The actual spring came out, so. I heard that it's easier to put the spring back in with it all with the fender off. And so once we pull the fender off to do the the rest of it, we'll try to put the fender or put that spring back in. But if you come around here, you got the old bushings. Just try to use the old pins and knock them out. Well, or they're going to fall out.
And the way the pens are set up and the bushings, the bushing goes on the door on the bottom and on the truck side on the top. So This one right here, if you can pick it up off the ground, if you find it, that's the one you're going to see that half of it's gone. That's the one that wears out the, the quickest. Hold this door. Look at these bushings. Fish knocking out this bushing. Yeah. Problem is, is I eat too much while I go. Too fat. Okay. We're bushing in. What sucks is normally they'll stay in there by themselves. All right, what I did was just put a little plastic in there from the bag that they came in to hold them in there. And then once I get them in there, I'll take needle nose and pull that plastic out. Did the same thing on the door. So we're gonna hang the door and we'll come back and tell you all the problems we had. Oh, here you go. These little clips right here is what holds it in the, the door. Once it goes in, it slides up. You gotta make sure that these little ears right here pop through and lock so the pan won't come back out. These are the one of the other things that are a pain in the butt to get off to knock the old pins out. All right, we had to pull the door back off. The top hinge was bent down, and then this bush in here, I don't know if it's because this is bent down, but it already fell down on the pin. Like there's that much, it had, was only hanging in by that much. So, I'm gonna try to put it back in this way. The only thing I'm worried about is it floating up. But, I'm hoping that this little piece will catch it and keep it from floating up. If this will catch it and keep it from floating up or golden, and then we'll be able to rehang the door and not worry about it. But it was just crazy how this one would already f had fell back out with the door on. So this pin, this hinge, we bent up just a little bit. Uh, Cause we could raise it with a screwdriver and it would go in and it would be in about that far. It would only go in about that far before this hinge would bottom out and catch it. So I'm gonna go in from the top and see how it works. Um, might not work out, I'll have to take it back off. But what we found, a little trick on these little clips, is that, well, obviously when it's in a truck, you gotta put this around it. But you slide, what you end up doing is taking that zip tie and wrapping around this, and it collapses that whole thing, squeezes it so you can push the pin back out and save your clips. Good little tip there. So, I'm gonna bend these out just a little bit with a little flat tip and then we'll come back and uh, show you again well we got the hinge pins in and uh, me putting this one on top I'll let you guys know how it works out but the little clips that hold the pin up are holding the, the bushing down and uh, we had to bend that up a little bit. This, uh, the frame side, we might have bent it too much, but I gotta dig out all the plastic that I used to hold the bushings in. But I think the door was wore out because these bushings, there's a huge gap in there. So I don't know if uh, these cheap aftermarket bushings are the problem or if the door's the problem. But, when you close it, it closes on its own, minimal swing. Got to come in and refine these gaps. I don't know how to refine these gaps on these because I don't see no other adjustments. But I need to know if y'all can tell me if, it, uh, if the hinges on the door and the fire or the truck can be adjusted or are they welded to the, the, to the door and the body. But uh, we're going to jump over and do the driver's side and give you a <coughs> an after on that one. That's the one that droops the most. So, see you later. Well, it got dark out there. We got, we got the new pins in, but we ended up knocking both springs out. 
So I gotta put the springs, figure out a way to put the springs in. They give me a C clamp or something, maybe I can just clamp it down and, and uh, put zip ties on it, put it in there and cut the zip ties, I don't know. But the, the hinges themselves are so wore out that the hinge pin and the bush, new bushings helped, but it didn't correct the problem, especially on the driver's side. It still droops and catches the latch as it goes in. So uh, what I need to know is, can, are those hinges replaceable? Can you go inside the door and are there nuts and bolts or how, how are they held on? Are they welded on? Am I putting the pins in? It's supposed to correct everything. That's your final say so on that. Uh, but they're in. I don't know what else to tell you. Uh, so the next thing is to get it pulled up in here and start ripping the front end off. So I don't know, we'll probably just maybe set the camera up and do a time lapse on that. And, uh, hopefully you can just see the front end hit the floor. We'll get back to you in a minute. <laughs> 